you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Just a short time ago, school officials in Pawtucket rejected making any new concessions as the city faces a nearly $6 million budget shortfall. The mayor is turning to the unions to fill a major budget gap. And he's threatening layoffs if concessions aren't met. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Toprano joins us live with exclusive details from tonight's meeting. Well, Karen, this summer the city of Pawtucket increased the amount of people that pay a car tax. That brought in $4 million, but the city is still in debt. Now the mayor is asking the city's unions to step forward. <laughs> Teachers give the Pawtucket School Committee a standing ovation for deciding not to open up their contract for renegotiation. We have given concessions before, and now it's come to the point where Hopefully they've recognized our hard work. And the city is facing a $5.7 million shortfall, and Mayor James Doyle made the request to try to close the hole. The teacher's contract is through August of 2012 evening, and maintain they've done enough. Teachers have given up two raises, one for 2% and the other for 3.6%. They've also increased the amount they pay for health insurance. I think that as teachers we work really hard and we always have the best interest of the students at heart um, and I hope that we're respected a little bit more for that. In a memo, Doyle says the city budget deficit will require concessions from all city labor contracts. He'll ask the other unions on Friday. I'm not slamming the door shut, but uh, to be honest with you, we're not really interested. The president of Local 1012, which represents about 300 workers, everyone from sanitation to highway employees, maintains his members can't afford to give up any more either. They faced five years of wage freezes and took 12 furlough days last year. I still have members, myself included, that are recovering from paying bills that had to be put aside last year. If the unions don't ante up, the mayor is promising layoffs. The mayor was not available to go on camera. A call to several other union presidents, including the fire and police presidents, were not returned. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.